guys, it's Sherry Vegas and welcome back to my channel. So in this tutorial today, we are actually going to be using scraps of cardboard, like cardboard toilet paper rolls, to create a really cool resin tray. So I know probably if you're like, what? Oil toilet paper rolls, how is this going to work? But I've been seeing this kind of pop up a lot all over Pinterest where people are using like old um, cardboard rolls, cutting them up and creating some really cool artwork. So I thought you could take that idea and add resin, add the element of resin into it and create a really cool serving tray. I've got this really cool geometric shaped mold which I got from Shattered Shapes and I'm also going to be using the Crystal Cast Resin from Maker for this project. The first thing that I want to do is just mix up some of my crystal cast resin. This is a 2 to 1 ratio resin and then I'm going to be pouring it in the bottom of my mold and just making sure that it covers the full surface area. I don't need this to be deep, I just want a thin surface layer. The reason why we need to do a clear coat of resin to begin with is it's going to give us something to place the cardboard tubes into and it's going to hold them into place and because it's clear we're going to be able to see the other colours that we add into those tubes. So that's why we don't want to do it too thick, we just want a real nice thin layer making sure it covers that full surface area. While we wait for our casting resin to get a little bit thicker, I'm going to start cutting up my cardboard. So this is just some cardboard roll from paper towels that I've saved and I'm just going to be cutting it into sections. The thicker you make your sections, the more resin you're going to need and something also to think about is how deep is your mold. If your mold isn't that deep, then you'll need to cut these thinner because you don't want them to be poking out of the top of your mold. I'm also going to be just using this silver pen and lining the way around them just because I don't want to see any of the cardboard color popping through when I do add these into my resin. So just adding a little bit of silver is just going to make them look a bit prettier. Um, you can also, you know, change it to gold or copper, whatever color that you want to use for. Once you have all of your cardboard roll cut up, you can start placing your pieces into the resin. You can do whatever design you want and you can do as much or as little as you want. So these are really great to add in. You can create flowers, petal shapes, or you can just do a geometric design like I will end up doing. I did kind of change this around slightly because I realized I was uh, slightly short on being able to fill the whole mold. So I ended up changing the pattern just so that way I could have it looking more abstract. When you're happy with your design, you can just let the resin set overnight and then come back and do the second layer. The reason why we need to let our resin set is because it's going to act as a little barrier, stopping the next layer of resin from flowing out between our cardboard tubes. I've mixed up five different colors to fill up my cardboard sections. The first color that I'm going to be using is Opal from Art Tree Creations and then the other colors I custom blended. You can use whatever colors that you like and however many colors that you like to fill up your sections. Once I filled up all of the cardboard sections, I then poured a coat of a turquoise. So this is quite a deep turquoise in all of the negative space around my cardboard section. Now I could also just do a clear coat of resin, so that way the only colors in this piece are inside the cardboard sections, but I decided that a turquoise would look really beautiful going around the outside. And to add some sparkle, I just used this glitter glass from Just Resin in pale blue and just started to sprinkle that around in all of my turquoise section. This will sink to the bottom, which will then end up being the top of my piece when I pull it out of the mold. 
and then I'm just going to leave this to set and once it's dry I can do a flood coat. Now if I had mixed up more resin I could have probably filled up the full amount and not have to do a flood coat or I could have cut my pieces thinner to make my tray thinner. So those are two other options um, but because I didn't mix up enough resin in the first pour I'm now doing a flood coat just to make sure that the base of my um, serving tray is going to be nice and even and I just added a bit of opal shimmer into that as well Once it was all set, it was then time to demold. I feel like this piece looks beautiful whether you're looking at it from the bottom or the top. I did decide to go with the underside of my piece and that's the side that I'm gonna be adding my handles to, to create my tray. So I'm just putting a bit of latex going the whole way around my edge just so when I do my top coat to this piece, I'm not gonna have it going and doing drips down the edge. So by placing some latex down and letting it dry, it kind of acts Acts as masking tape or sticky tape and prevents the resin from sticking to the edge. I like to place quite a thick amount and then I also did a little bit underneath just to stop any of those resin drips. Once the latex is dry, you just need to mix up some top coat. So the top coat that I'm using is from Make Art Resin and it's just called Top Coat. This is gonna help me glue my handles into place. I'm also just using my heat gun to pop any little bubbles that I might've mixed into the resin when I was mixing it up. Once your top coat is fully covering your surface area, you can then add your handles into place. So I've just got these handles that are from a hardware store called Bunnings, um, and I think they're around $8, but you can obviously get your handles from anywhere you'd like. I find Etsy has a really good range um, available on there if you wanna get some fancier handles. Then once my top coat had dried, it was time to pull off my latex, and then that just pulls off all of those resin drips. I want to know your guys' thoughts below. Do you like this idea? Would you cut up old um, cardboard rolls and add it into resin to create some really cool geometric, like patterny, um, like you could do this with coasters or like the tray that I did? Would you guys do this idea? Let me know in the comments below. I really enjoyed this. It's incredibly simple, but it's such a like an effective look. Um, and obviously you could do ones where you fill the whole area up. You could even do it like flower petal patterns and make leaves. Um, so where you could like color the different um, areas. So you could do like petals all pink and then the leaves all like green um, instead of just the abstract design that I have done. I feel like there's a lot of kind of ways that you could take this idea. Uh, but thank you guys so much for watching. If you are new to my channel, please do subscribe as I post new videos every single week and I specialize in resin, alcohol, inks and candle making as well as jessamite. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching.